Okay, here we have our uh, pork uh, butt. You could also use pork shoulder. And I have some of my anything rub. I already have it in the uh, roasting pan that I'm going to use in the smoker. And I'm going to rub this rub all over the pork uh, pretty generously. I'm going to kind of rub it in, right? I'm going to try to get it on both sides, uh, all over the ends as well. And if you haven't already done so, you should uh, preheat your smoker to 250 degrees. Now what we're going to do is scatter these thinly sliced onions. And these are pretty thinly sliced, as you can see. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we're going to scatter those around and on the uh, pork. We're going to do the same thing with the garlic. Bay leaves. I'm breaking the bay leaves up a little bit so that the pieces can get uh, kind of scattered around with the onions and the pork. Okay. Then I'm going to add the uh, pineapple juice. I'm using these six inch can six ounce cans of pineapple juice because that's the size they come in, right? And let's get this open here. There we go. Pouring that around a little bit on. And then we're gonna add the uh, the sake, about a quarter of a cup. Now, I'm going to put this into the smoker, and I'm going to leave it in there for six hours. And uh, I add the wood chips. Here, I have the wood chips. I add those to my smoker after I put the food in, because that way, you know, if you put them in before you put the food in, then the smoke uh, develops, and then you open the door to put the food in, and you lose a lot of that smoke. So I always put the wood chips in after I put in the food. So these are, this is going to go into the smoker for six hours, and... Um, I'm going to add the wood chips and then we're going to come back after six hours and uh, go to the next step. Okay, here's our pork, our smoked pork. It's been in there for six hours. Now, I only took it out to show it to you. What I want you to do is leave it in the smoker and turn the heat off and let it cool down uh, for about a half an hour in the smoker. Why? It's, it's like resting the meat, but it also helps the um, meat to reabsorb some of the juices and not to release its juices so much. It helps to keep the meat moister. Okay, so I'm going to put it back into the smoker, heat off for half an hour. You should just turn the heat off and leave it in the smoker. Okay, here we go. It's out of the smoker. Uh, it's been um, resting for about half an hour. I'm going to transfer it to another pan and uh, cut it up. Okay, now we're just going to break this up into, you know, rather large pieces. I'm not going to pull it, okay? You can pull it if you want. So we're just going to break it up. Okay, now I'm going to mix in some of my uh, Carolina-ish vinegar sauce and uh, also mix in the onions. You don't have to do this. You can mix in barbecue sauce if you want. You can mix in any sauce that you want, okay? And I'm also going to add a little bit of salt because we had seasoning on the outside, but we didn't have any seasoning, you know, on the inside of the pork, all right? And I'm also going to add a little bit of freshly ground white pepper. And I'm just going to mix this whole thing up. Okay, there we go. This is the smoked pork butt or pork shoulder. You can see photos of the final dish at my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Please remember to subscribe to my channel 
and thanks for watching.